With the point cloud selected, open up an ice tree and create a simulated ice tree this time. So instead of creating an ice tree in the traditional modeling, shape modeling, or animation construction stacks, we've now added a simulation and post simulation stack. And this is what allows particles to have their effect uh, perpetuate over time. We're using the previous frame of information to calculate the next frame. So information is being passed from frame to frame, unlike what's happening in the lower regions of the construction stack, where the previous operator is evaluated uh, before the next operator that sits higher up in the stack. So with this ice tree, I'm going to want to create an emission from surface. And I'm starting to notice that when I emit from surface, I, uh, for at least this type of uh, particle effect, I tend to emit a total number of particles. So it may be nice to set up a compound like emit from surface that emits a static number of particles at zero speed. And so I can simply just change this, maybe dive into the compound, and call this emit in place. If I actually export that compound now, it's added as a tool on my shelf. So it's neat just to be able to edit these existing compounds that are provided for uh, by XSI and kind of massage them to meet your needs. And from these compounds you'll make obviously dozens more. I'll take the emit output of the emit in place compound now and plug it into port one of the ice tree and to provide an emitter I'll pull the birch in by drag and dropping and assign the out value of the birch to the emitter input one value on emit in place compound. So we resolve immediately and if I move ahead to frame two I get some particles being emitted but they're being emitted along the trunk of the tree as well and if I increase the number of particles to say uh, 1200 I'll really want to remove them from this tree trunk area. So I'm going to use a filter by weight map to do that. Uh, if I right click on emit in place by the way, I might want to add that to my favorites. Um, oh, doesn't look like I can here. Maybe there's a bug in beta. I'll have to log that a bit later. Anyways, uh, if I go and grab a, let's see, would it be a filter emission control? There we go just eluded me for the moment there. That's the nice thing about the, the little search menu. Works really well. We'll filter by weight map and on the execute on emit I of course can't resolve the weight map here because it defaults to a weight map by the name of weight map. So I'll explore for the weight map I've painted. Go to my clusters, weight map, uh, leaf placement, weight map, weights attribute and now we get the particles restricted to the branches of the tree. Okay, I could just get a couple more drops in there. I'm going to increase the number just slightly to 2,000 and that should probably be enough leaves for our trees. Uh, by the time we put the grid on here as an instance with the texture map, uh, we'll have a pretty good idea if we need more. So we'll stick with 2000 for now.